Hi, I'm Carol Wilson, editor at large for Light Reading, and I'm here with Mark Halfinger, the CEO of PCCW Global. You've always taken a very practical approach to commercial settlements between car carriage and network operators. Um, tell me kind of what the state of the art is right now on that. Uh, practical, I think, is the nature of our business. Interoperability has required uh, back office capabilities in and among service providers. Okay. And it's necessary to assure that we're engaged in uh, settling traffic between ourselves. Traditionally, we've done that quite well for legacy services such as voice and standard data connectivity. But as services now become more dynamic and more evolved, uh, the quality of that behavior has to change. And what are you seeing in terms of how the industry is addressing that change? I think the first is, is a matter of recognition. The industry recognizes that automation on the front end of services is going to require a good amount more of automation also in the back end. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to be very creative in what you're going to be doing downstream in your own network with your own customer. The moment you want those services, though, to become ubiquitous and globally available, you need to assure that there's a stream of service provider relationships at the back end that can also facilitate the same. Okay. And therefore, while it might be exciting to look at the front end, it's absolutely necessary to be focusing on back end automation and to assure that service providers can interoperate amongst themselves, not just technically, but also commercially. Okay. So um, here at, at MEF 18, uh, PCCW is part of an interesting proof of concept involving blockchain and while I'm the first to admit I don't fully understand how blockchain works it does seem like an interesting alternative for this kind of settlements process. What can you tell us about that? Well, blockchain is a technology which is facilitating automation. Okay. Uh, first and foremost we're looking at how we can take contracts between and among different service providers in a common ecosystem and code those contracts so that the parameters for settlement are clear and that the parameters for dispute are framed to allow for automated settlement. And that's all part of the code? That, that's basically, the, in, in the most simple terms, that's what, that's what we're doing. Okay. Uh, the Global Leaders Forum engaged with a number of service providers. Currently there are six or seven different service providers who are engaged in a multi-carrier proof of concept, uh, initially for voice services. And now here at MEF, we're using the POCs that are taking place here at the showcase to focus how we can take that to next generation settlement of data services on an on-demand basis. And once that framework is created, I think we'll be able to get involved in, in delivering more dynamic, more creative services into the automated settlement framework. Okay, and what's the time frame for that happening, do you see? It's immediate. Um, in, in order for the blockchain to be successful at the industry level, there's going to have to be a governance framework that will be put in place. Uh, last week in London at the Global Leaders Forum, we did agree to establish a uh, subcommittee uh, that would focus on establishing a governance model at the wholesale layer of the industry mm. that okay. would uh, facilitate that. We have to see how that, that evolves, and, and we should have more news on that in the next couple of months. Uh, MEF has been very instrumental through its uh, commercial attributes subcommittee in working with us on what the interconnect parameters will look like that mm -hmm. would be facilitated by the governance framework, okay. particularly around data services. Okay, so MEF has a role to play Absolutely. in this going forward. Uh, actually, okay. MEF and GLF have been uh, working closely together uh, in creating new service frameworks, uh, focusing on the evolution of bandwidth on demand as a parameter, uh, assuring that the API set that was announced this morning by MEF mm -hmm. around, uh, around LSO this Sonata uh, would also, interface? Cor correct. Would also okay. be driven towards some sort of commercial endorsement by the commercial leaders at the GLF. So I think there, there's a hand-in-hand -hand activity. And it's nice to see that different forums and different environments can collaborate to assure that the industry is headed off into a common direction that makes sense. That does, it does sound interesting. Um, what's your impression of the show in general? You've been here before. I, we've been supporting that from day one. Okay. Uh, we believe uh, quite strongly in everything that MEF has been trying to do and in the manner in which it's evolved. Okay. And we also continue to try and push from inside and from outside to uh, get MEF to continue to focus not just on the technical interfaces but the commercial interfaces where we think they go hand in hand. Okay, great. Mark, thanks for being here with me today. A real pleasure. Thank you very much, Carol. It's good to see you.